This is the Fox 11 10 o'clock news. It's common complaint by celebrities, reckless behavior by paparazzi and their quest for the ultimate photo. State lawmakers are about to approve a bill that would change all that. Liz Habib is live at the pre-Emmy party in West Hollywood where she got reactions from celebrities who know what it's like to be chased. Liz? Oh, they certainly do. Basically, this bill would clamp down on the paparazzi. So if they get caught chasing after a celebrity, celebrities, kids in the car, if they endanger anybody else while they're on the road driving the car, they could go to jail. Here at the Pacific Design Center tonight, pre-Emmy party, celebrities and celebrity photographers were talking about it. It is the most outrageous, out-of-control scene, the Octomom bringing her children home. Theoretically, if the paparazzi bill becomes law and this happens in the future, photographers like these could be arrested, even thrown in jail for up to a year. On the red carpet, celebs pose for the celebrity photographers who insist they are not paparazzi and don't chase cars, so they refuse to comment on the paparazzi bill. Emmy nominee Glenn Close has been chased. Just when I was doing a play out here, we were chased in a car, and it's terrifying. She says something has to be done. Oh, look what happened to Princess Di. Lindsay Lowen knows what the chase is like. Just yesterday, she posted this on Twitter. Paparazzi shouldn't be allowed to take pictures or video while someone is driving or at a stoplight, for everyone's sake. <laughs> Even actors like Seth Green anticipate that at any time, the cameras are watching. It's a really aggressive culture, and the, everyone has a camera, so anybody can be a journalist, and anybody can make a million dollars selling a tape that has somebody crashing their car. Or this would be another offense with bigger penalties, trapping someone. Britney Spears couldn't drive away, but she wouldn't be at fault for allegedly running over a paparazzo's foot. They could all be sued for endangering her life. Now, those celebrity photographers that I talked to tonight who didn't want to go on camera and don't like to be labeled paparazzi, they say they go to invited events and they do things on red carpets. They do not chase down celebrities or stand in dark corners trying to get pictures. They say if this bill passes, then they believe it'll make their jobs easier and better. That bill could be on the governor's desk next week. Reporting live in West Hollywood, I'm Liz Habib, Fox 11 News. All right, we're going to talk more about this. Currently, if a paparazzo commits an assault against someone while trying to capture an image, they are liable for up to three times the amount of any damages caused by this act and a fine between five and $50,000. The new law would expand that liability when the defendant falsely imprisons someone to capture an image. Here's a major sticking point that the California Broadcasters and Newspapers Associations don't like. Currently, it's against the law to interfere or follow a vehicle and to engage in reckless driving. This bill would make it a misdemeanor to violate those provisions to capture an image for commercial purpose. The crime would be punishable by imprisonment in jail and a fine of up to $2,500. And if a child is endangered, it would be a misdemeanor punishable by imprisonment, a fine of up to $5,000. Well, joining us now to take on this debate are Frank Griffin, a paparazzo and owner of Bauer Griffin Agency. He says laws already exist to control paparazzi and to put tougher restrictions on them is absurd. His mainstream photojournalists get away with far more. And Jeffrey Steinberger, a celebrity criminal defense attorney, he says it's sad that we need laws like this, but paparazzi endanger celebrity lives and other citizens with their pack mentality. Jeffrey, tell me more about this. Why do we need this law? Christine, this law is probably one of the better laws that came out from the legislature in the last five years. It puts some real bite in stopping the prop paparazzi where they go into that dog-like mentality, that prey-like mentality, and endangering. You cannot endanger celebrities. You cannot endanger celebrities' kids. You cannot endanger the whole general public but the way they've been doing it in the last couple of years. There are laws on the books right now. Frank, let me ask you, why do you hate this law? I don't hate anything. Hate's too strong a word. Okay. I don't think the law is workable. I think there are plenty of laws in the statute books that allow for prosecution of those people that drive through a red light, probably following a celebrity who's already driven through a red light. Are they subject to the same restrictions or does this law only apply to those following that person who's driven through the red light? Frank, though, we've all seen these scenes, these crazy scenes where there's... 
photographer surrounding the vehicle. Take a look at this scene right here. I heard one person on my Facebook page call for Wild Wild West. Don't we need something to curb the, the bad apples, as you've even called some of them? I, I do believe there's always, in any trade or profession, there's some, there are good and bad. Uh, news gathering is an honorable profession, and whether it's celebrity or war or, or a Chinese trade delegation, it should be treated as such. I've seen cases, plenty of cases, with 200 hard news gatherers acting like a pack of animals. Uh, I'm okay. looking at scenes now that you've used, but I, I haven't seen photographs that have ever been published as a result of that activity. Well, and yes, it should be curtailed. Yes, I believe that that should be curtailed, but there are laws on the books that will prevent that activity. Let's talk about the mainstream industry. You're talking about my industry. And here's a response from the California Newspaper Publishers Association. Uh, that association opposes the new law, saying, while the new provisions are likely intended to solely curb the most virulent paparazzi, would create the potential for extreme criminal penalties for members of the mainstream press in transit to any number of emergency scenes. Jeffrey, what do you say to that? That's absolutely correct, Christine. And did you see that last image where it was that act like that? These are not good reporters. This is not good reporting. This is an animal system that is just praying for the money shot, the dollar, the big holy grail of money to get that one shot that's going to pay a million dollars. Yes, it's a symbiotic relationship between the actors and the uh, media buyers, but this, this is getting so out of hand that California legislature has to do something about it to put some actual bite and teeth into this provision. Because before, people were getting hurt. Uh, you can't take a photographic lens and put it into Jennifer Aniston's house and take naked pictures of her. You can't take Nicole Richie and hit her with a car uh, from some paparazzi. Well, you Frank, can't do these things. It's dangerous. It's, it, it's irreprehensible. You, and Jeff they're going to be held accountable this time. But Frank represents photographers who sell these photos. And Frank, you disagree. Go ahead. Well, first of all, this man hasn't done his research. He talks about the million dollar picture. There's no such thing. It doesn't exist. I'm just well, wondering you how, make money, how much. Though. There's lots of it money. It makes money, but it's, it's, it's way off a million dollars. Uh, we, we can't. No, we've never been able to take pictures of Jennifer Aniston inside her house, it's illegal. Uh, but you just did it. You had to be paid I, back $550,000. You had to pay last year $550,000 because you did, in fact, well, take a picture of Jennifer Aniston respond. only in his panties. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no idea what you're talking about. I haven't paid a penny. I've never been sued, prosecuted. Neither have many of any of the guys who have worked with me or for me. But Frank, so, that, so some the five hundred fifty thousand doesn't. Some have I'd, been I'd, sued. They've not only been sued, Christine. They've paid. Frank, you may not have had that in your in your business and with your paparazzi and the people that you employ. But this has gone on from time immemorial. People have been sued. I have no idea what, what you're, you're talking, talking about. about. You're talking about Jennifer Aniston is collected. You're talking about Nicole Richie is collected. You're talking about uh, Paul Newman is collected. You're talking about Alex Baldwin is collected. Everybody is collected. You must have one of the most pristine agencies that I've ever heard of. Because well, everybody else is. Frank, let me ask you this. If this does pass, well, it's going to probably go to the governor, uh, how would it change your industry? Not one bit. Most of the pictures aren't taken in Los Angeles anymore, and this would apply to California. We would work around it. We don't have people chasing or in those situations. Those pictures don't make money. I have in front of me every publication this week, every tabloid publication that came out this week, there isn't one single picture in there that came about as a result of a, of a car chase. Uh, let me, let me uh, by the same, at uh, the same time, give me the chance that today I got this email, well, well, which, well, we can, can talk about it later if you want. <laughs> but, but I, I've got to wrap it up with one sure, more question. Okay. So, this is going to the governor, most likely, and Jeffrey's celebrities, two of them at least, are for this, Reese Witherspoon being one of them. Uh, are, are you glad they're stepping forward like this? I am so glad that Quickly. they have, I'm glad that they spoke up, I'm glad that they actually went into the politicizing of this, I'm glad that they stopped the endangerment, not only to themselves, but to their kids. There's a big provision in this bill to protect those kids, to protect all the people who are doing the entertainment business, who are doing it the right way. Frank, you may have paparazzi that are doing it the right way, but we have something on the books now that has bite, that has vigor, that has life, and that that will protect all people in California. All right, I think Frank, it's a good deal. Frank, is this is big business for you. Give me a last word. 
Uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger was taking his, uh, picking his kid up from school. Two people jostled him. They got jail time. That happened more than 10 years ago. Why does it need to be changed? All they right, acted, so uh, they were out of order. They acted improperly. They were sent to jail. What's the difference? Your point, there are laws on the books. Okay, gentlemen, thank you so much. A big issue here in California. We thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Michael? Thank you. All right, a lot of passion. Thanks.